everyone and welcome to today's episode of UK Out of Box. And I'd just like to say a massive thanks to all of our new subscribers. We're currently pushing for that 500. And uh, yeah, we're well on our way. I am a new channel and I appreciate all the support as always. If you've not been following the series thus far, they're up on the channel in a handy playlist. And uh, yeah, we'd love to have you here on the channel. If you are new, over 96% of you who are viewing my videos are not currently subscribed. So we'd love to have you as part of the channel. With all that out of the way, we're currently moving towards the Golden Saucer. And I've also made the decision, moving forward with the series, to record in 4K30, as I believe the graphical trade-off is very severe with this game. It really does feel fantastic and looks great in 4K30. The performance mode, although is very smooth, looks pretty horrendous and it's pretty blurry. But I'll cover more of that in my final review. So, moving forward, we're going to be making our way towards the Golden Saucer in today's episode. We won't be able to return to North Corral. As I've said in past episodes as well, I am mainly focusing on the court story campaign element. There's not going to be a terrible amount of mini games and side content in my playthrough. We are going to be covering that sort of stuff later on. And I do, I will be doing some on my live stream as well. I stream on Twitch TV forward slash UK Data Fox Official. But I'll put it all in the uh, description below. So here we go. We're on our way to the Golden Saucer. Let's do this. This will take us all the way to the saucer. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and uh, beat them up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. <sighs> I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? <sighs> Corel wasn't much. Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. We were happy. Covered in soot and porous dirt. But none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dine. I do, but nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. <sighs> if I may, sir, once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man, this is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we have. You think I haven't thought about that? <sighs> Come on, are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? <sighs> we gonna let them tell us we're worthless? <sighs> it would seem we've reached an impasse. 
In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Static. Convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. <sighs> Y'all saw the aftermath. Saucer's waiting. So that is indeed a very interesting. Perhaps it was the reactor blowing up that actually affected Barrett and blew his arm off. We can't be entirely sure of that. I'm just having a guess. As you can see in the 4K30 mode, the graphics are bar none outstanding. Uh, the graphical fidelity of the textures <laughs> and the character models is far, far, far superior in the graphical mode. And it's a much more enjoyable cinematic experience, which is what it was designed for, really. But we're approaching the Golden Saucer now, an iconic location in the Final Fantasy VII universe. The Chapter 8, All That Glitters, Let's do it. Wow, we've even got the classic theme. That looks look, epic. Look, look, look. Something's coming. Amazing. Wow, Ifrit. Is that Ifrit and Shiva? <laughs> and hello to you too. How good is that? I have said in some of my past episodes, some of the big drawbacks for me in this game. There's a lot of mini games in the game, which are great, and they are fun. But a lot of them are shoehorned into the main campaign, and it can get a little bit frustrating. 
I was expecting mini games to be part of the Golden Saucer as it's kind of iconically what it's known for, which I don't really mind. Um, we're obviously going to have to do some mini games here, but that's to be expected. But the card game, Queen's Blood, that's built into the game, as people are well aware, uh, I've not really bothered with it. It's not really for me. I don't really enjoy it. But well, here we are. We've arrived. Fast travel is unavailable. And we've got some more of these hooded guys here once again. They seem to be everywhere. Um, we haven't covered a little bit of story about what they're about, where they're from and stuff like that. But we don't really know the full ins and outs currently. See what material this is. Healing materia. Very, very good. Very nice. We're going to need plenty of those on our journey. Let's go. Oh, there's that helicopter that was flying about that we saw earlier on out in the open world. That multicolored chopper. We did wonder what that was all about. Oh, it's the Turks. Oh, dear. Tifa Lockhart and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look. Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. Cloud, the others are waiting. What the hell? <laughs> it's actually a night and day difference, the graphics, when you're in the 4K30 mode. It does actually look stunning. What the hell? <laughs> Youth is off her head, isn't she? What the hell? <laughs> Whoa, who the hell is that? Guy's huge. <laughs> what the hell is going on right now? Challenge. 
adventure for the evening. Why does Cloud always get dragged into these things? Like, what the hell? Welcome to our gilded paradise, the gold saucer. Look at them pecs. What the <laughs> And you, sir, are... Cloud. <laughs> well, Cloud, shall we do... Let go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? You can do this, Cloud. <laughs> what the actual hell? <laughs> Some sort of Tron VR shit, this. Let's go. Practice, eh? How prudent. Well, left hook, right hook. Uh, give him a hook with R2, yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, get it now. Too slow. Dodged. Nice. What the hell? I pressed it. Get it. I'm legit like going right. Oh, is it right stick? Oh, maybe it's the right stick. Hold on, hold on. I think I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm pressing the wrong stick. Oh, yeah. It's both sticks. That's why. I was doing right on the left stick. Right. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Let's go. Got him. All right. Well, I'm ending this. Let's go. Boom, boom. Combo time, baby. KO. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Expertly done. Well fought, young man. So it's looking like it's a little bit of a nod to the original PS1 Final Fantasy 7 with these mini games. We seem to be the avatars that sort of mimic what we look like in that original game, which is quite funny. Let's give our worthy contender another thunderous round.
Token of my thanks. <sighs> One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You've been Wu Tai Pop Star outfit has been added. <laughs> By the looks of things, I think the game has been fully developed in the 4K30 mode. And the performance mode was kind of added on as an afterthought. Um, I still think it needs a little bit of work. Because it just looks so good in the 4K30 mode. It's not often I'll play a game in, this, in the uh, fidelity mode. I'm generally more of a frame rate guy. But this has definitely swayed my opinion on the fidelity mode on the PlayStation 5. I think it's something I may explore in other titles as well now moving forward. Have your fun. Death up. It's looking like we might be spending quite a lot of time here. Come on, let's go. Get some sleep, okay? The developers were very vocal about the mini games, the chocobo racing and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Away from the glitz and glamour. What the hell is wrong with those guys? It won't last. What? Rocco, when it's gone, so is this. Where did that come from? Paraphrasing you. Whoa, what the hell? But I get your point. How cool is that? It's like a futuristic uh, travel air. Whoa, look at this area. It looks well good. The hell is this? Holy shit, man. It's so good. The Haunted Hotel. <laughs> Buke. Here. Why are they all Scottish, by the way? So how about a reading to clear those somber skies? When will it be dark or bright? I'll need your future light. Just let me go shoot the messenger. Is some kind of toy? Good lads, eyes up here. Ha ha. Fortune teller extraordinaire. Yes, Seth. No way. Why has he got a Scottish accent, though? Haha! <laughs> Come on, 
on pal. Give us a smile. Haha. <laughs> meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back up. Such a wide array of characters in this one as well. I mean, there was quite a lot in Final Fantasy VII on the PS1. But the big takeaway from this 4K30 mode is not only the fidelity, but the lighting effects. And the shadows. The shadows look truly outstanding. Very, very high resolution. I think I'm quite sold on this mode, actually. And I think for my future playthroughs, it's definitely going to be on the cards. Really is a cinematic experience. And to be quite honest with you, it, it doesn't take long to get used to it. you got to think back in the day, I was playing Ocarina of Time at like 18 FPS. And, you know, Banjo because they were at like 22 FPS. And GoldenEye at like 24 FPS and stuff. Majority of PS1 and PS2 games were 30 FPS as well. I think when I went to PC many years ago, uh, high frame rates, I kind of got a little bit spoiled with them. But a game like this, the graphical fidelity is fantastic and really adds a new dimension to the immersion. It's definitely something that I'm, I, I'm in favor of these days. The way it blends between the cutscenes and the game is so much more cohesive and fluid. Hello? Jesus. Welcome, gentle sirs. What the hell? was that? My most sincere apologies. Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. For crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? <laughs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? Uh -huh. And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure enough. Well. well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> The Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? <laughs> it feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> to the loo. That's a handy little uh, little thing your you can do. Are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. Let's go. stands a fortune or two to steer you true a fortune or two to steal you through <laughs> well, of course be it this be it that go on and ask the cat okay We're so we've got a cat and a dog in our party now this is just getting too weird oh sephiroth sephiroth 
Hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on. Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait, don't go. Third time's a charm. Come on, you stupid thing. the matter <laughs> seek and you are sure to the cat is if some kind of a fortune teller i never really understood what what sort of animal they were or creature in the original <laughs> on the ps1 the stars work in mysterious ways <laughs> you good yeah it's just what i cherish most uh, see what this crap does. My apologies, sir. My apologies, sir. When he gets weird and wacky, he definitely gets weird and wacky. You wish to go down, I presume. Fourth floor. Fourth floor, please. Uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Fourth floor. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh. Like Ghostbusters, isn't it? Or Luigi's Mansion or some shit. Mm. Oh, the Turks. Mm. Ooh. Nasty buggers. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Get her after that. Reservation under the name Palmer. Director of Space and Aeronautics. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. It's probably the suite that we've took. Oh, it shows that he cancelled. I bet you. It says here you. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. No, we didn't. Uh, while we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites. Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. <sighs> Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. He's a greasy bard exact. No point dwelling on it. Ooh. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> Yoo waitress. Ooh, he's horrible, isn't he? Right, slimy little shit. We've arrived. Farewell. We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. I'm sure we will. Attention to details, so phenomenal. Considering how big the game is as well, every little handcrafted piece of uh, furniture and whatnot. What the fuck is that? <sighs> More toys. <laughs> Look at it. What the hell? I'm sure there used to be enemies in the original game. <sighs> Start to miss Johnny's seaside flea trap. <laughs> head out for a bit. Cool. Cool. But not for fun. Just to take a walk. Hey, you've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you. The hell? The goddamn genie.
What? <laughs> oh my god. It's like Beetlejuice or some shit. Oh well, time to rest up. Let's go to sleep. More tired than I thought. Wonder if he'll have like a dream or a weird flashback or something. Sorry, man. Yeah, I, I thought like he I might. You. Sorry, man. Oh, is that? I feel like I failed you. This is uh, the continuation of the flashback from the previous episodes. Eric and Cloud were indeed unconscious and Zack was nursing them back to better health. Eric's mum's come and brought them back to the house in the slums in Sector 7. Huh. Let's have a look at the materia. Something about the color. Didn't peg you as a bookworm. Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. <laughs> You're supposed to say thank you. Oh, it's Marlene. Yeah, I thought it was. Yes, ma'am. I didn't want to say no, anything, though, in case we're wrong. Say it now. Thank you. Weird. Hey, did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Bix. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. When do you believe he's voiced by one of the one of the main characters in Breaking Bad as well? He does a really, really good job of voicing that character as well. I believe you played Badger in the Breaking Bad. You remember? If any of you guys have seen that, that show, it's quite good. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. So I do remember we trusted it with Marlene to look after her, but I don't remember when Cloud and Aerith actually passed out. Mean it? Always do. Honest and true. But let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. No, I like rhymes sometimes. Not bad, kid. Not bad, kid. Not bad, kid. A visitor. Who could it be? 
He's always everything it. Thought I'd come see how you were holding up. What? Nothing. Never mind. You're still under the weather, huh? No, I'm fine. Sleep helped. <laughs> so does that mean you'd be up for a little sightseeing with yours truly? Oh. Just so happens the Skywheel's running a special for couples. Oh, for couples, couples, eh? As in... You and me? I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. Oh, is it really? Cloud don't half get the pick of the bunch, eh? Participate in the party's attractions to earn GP golden saucer points in exchange for your GP for illustrious collector's items, as well as other useful trinkets at kiosks located around the park. So I wonder if we can get any like limited edition stuff. Could be kind of interesting. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Well, let's start going back down the lift. We'll certify for now until this sort of a PC release or some sort of future update with maybe a PS5 Pro or they patch the game. For me, this game. 110% has to be played in 4k 30. It, it just does look so much better. All the hangups with the graphics, the blurredness, the problems with the lighting and the shadows, the faces going all pixelated. It just doesn't happen in this mode. And everything just looks so clean and clear. So many fine details in the faces and uh, the skin textures and stuff. And the luminosity, the lighting, everything is just superior. Whoa, way up. Sorry. So I'm presuming at some point we're going to have another run in with the Turks. That much is uh, pretty much certainty at this point. See you again soon. I'm sure you will. Hello there, Cloud. It's not often. It's Chadders, big Chadley. Oh, yeah, you're both overdue for a break. Enjoy yourselves tonight. Okay, okay. Go. Here at the haunted hotel, I can sleep like the day. I heard one of the rooms is literally haunted. This area right here looks amazing. Whatever it is you're off to today, allow me to be your guide, your Moogle guide. Beats the robot guide Moogles fast traveled to other areas of the park. Very nice. They did have this in the original um, Chocobo Square Adventure World. So she did want to go to the Sky Wheel, I think. We look forward to serving you again. So perhaps you have to unlock the other fast track locations. Do you want to go on the sky wheels together though? So we'll make our way over to that, I think. Well, there's a lot of check mark points on here. Meow. Reminds me of Mario Kart, this, for some reason. So let's have a look where the sky wheel is indeed is I mean look at this it just looks absolutely goddamn amazing Chocobo Square Skywheel here we go Leaving? 
This should score me some brownie points with her as well. Bloody the squares. A bent square. I just wanted to ride the sky. What do you mean we can't ride this if I'm gonna ride this? So it appears that some of these segments are locked off at the moment. So perhaps we don't go on the sky wheel yet. Wonderment Square. Coupo, Coupo. them bikes g bike yeah man now we're talking oh not queen's blood god's sake i spy something a certain all action mercenary might like want to try but it's for kids that's what all the old bogeys say old bogey let's see how Let's see how we, how we do here. We fly just to see what this is like. Cloud's epic motorcycle flight on the Midgar Expressway has been recreated in the arcade game G-Bike. Defeat pursuing troopers, collect point panels, and fill your nitrous boost gorge. Cross finish line with the highest score possible. Let's do it. So obviously going to be able to unlock a lot of little tidbits in this area. Let's go. We got a spinning slash. We got drift guard. Oh, we're supposed to be collecting these, I think. Oh, it's just like the original game. We got our spinning slash now. Now just boost here. Got our spinning slash here. Nice. These we're doing okay so far. Let's go. We've got those. Nice, nice, nice. These mini games like this, I don't mind. I think these mini games are pretty awesome.
Let's see if we can uh, spinny slash all these. We didn't quite get the 30,000. But we get the idea of what is required now from this game. So we've got a rank A. <laughs> rank 1 completion award for G-Bike. Rank 2 complete. Uh, did we do it all? Explore the other squares. Superb. Um, e bike. Queen's blood. Uh, what's this one? 3D brawler. Go back to the little teleport dude here. So let's go to Fantasy World. And away we go. Magical day. Let's check out Wonderment Square. I'm presuming once we do all the mini games, the other ones will unlock or something might happen. Uh, yeah, let's go. I got more back here. Oh. I've ended up back here. I knew you'd come. I mean, seriously, who could resist? You alone? Yeah. You know, you could talk and be a third wheel. No thanks. <laughs> Definitely on a date then. We've already been to Wonderment Square. Um. We'll try Adventure World, should we? We've got Chocobo Square, Battle Square. Hello? Let's have a look here. Bead Square, let's try this one out. Here we go. So although I'm not the biggest fan of like mini games being shoehorned in, the Golden Saucer is quite a legendary part of the Final Fantasy VII universe, and I'm all for this. Um, but the Queen's Blood stuff on the boat and stuff like that in the prior episodes wasn't overly thrilled about that. I mean, nevertheless, it hasn't put a dampener too much on the experience. I mean, it's a fantastic game. You want to be a space ranger too? Yeah, of course I do. Space Ranger HQ. Galactic Survivor. So where do we start the... Uh, What the hell? Now, how do we actually do this? So that's caught on dark. Uh, 
Uh, um, oh, here we go. Let's go, let's go. Got them right. Do a battle roll. Shoot, proton bomb. Nice, nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, baby. So I do have the same issue with this as I had with um with the other mini games. There's no looking version for the mini games, and it's a little bit frustrating to be fair. Proton cannon, proton bomb, proton bomb. Let's go, let's go. Bro, I'm bomb that shit. Squad kill. Let's go. Oh, big big red one here. Red one looks juicy. Nice. Do a barrel roll. You know what? I would love them to bring out another game like Star Fox 64 with, with like a modern console uh, graphic vibe just like this. I think it would be such a goddamn fun game. Incredible. We just used our restorative charge there. We've got plenty of proton bombs here we're not using, actually. Might as well get some of these used here. Big points for those ones. Oh, shit, guys. Oh, shit. The fuck is this? Oh, no. Used an absolute fuck to the proton bombs. And again, another one. And another one. Let's go, baby. We did miss one there, actually. Oh, we missed another one. Not good. Do a barrel roll. Is this shit? It's kind of like the Top Gun Maverick theme in the background. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Got to use a restorative charge again. Nice. Let's go, baby. Yeah, we did. Rank one completion. Oh, yeah, baby. 
All right, guys and girls, that's about all we got time for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. The mini games are actually quite phenomenal here at the Golden Saucer. And I hope you join me in the next episode. Where we'll be doing even more mini games, checking out this area and seeing what it has to offer. And don't forget, over 96% of my viewership are not currently subscribed. We'd love to have you here on the channel. But with all that out of the way, I'm going to bid you farewell and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.